Hey what's on going on guys, you and me for the win here and today we're going to be doing episode something I've given up on saying the episodes in the beginning of the videos because I've lost count we're going to be doing episode something and on our uh, 1.12.2 modding tutorial series for Minecraft and today we are going to be doing armor uh, just normal armor, not 3D armor yet so we're going to start with the init so we're going to be doing public static final item helmet underscore uh, we'll do ruby even though that's not going with our theme of silver but I can't bother to make silver armor I already have ruby it's just easier for me uh, equals new armor base inside this we need to put uh, a string which is helmet underscore ruby and then armor underscore ruby and then one and then entity equip slots dot head and basically you want to copy this paste 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 and change them all so um, chest plate leggings no, no, leg ings and boots right, and then um, same here chest plate leggings boots and for leggings change this number to 2 and here put for the chest plate put chest uh, for leggings put legs and for boots put feet and now we need to first well we need to do two things we need to create our armor base and we need to create our material so first we'll create the material because uh, that's a lot easier so we want to do a uh, public static final uh, armor material armor underscore ruby is equal to enum helper dot add armor material armor underscore ruby texture name we want to do a reference mod id plus and then a string which is a ruby durability so this is an int i'm going to put mine as about 1500 which is slightly better than diamond Reduction amount, so for this you want to do a new int array and then open two triangle brackets in here. Um, I'm going to put four for the boots, uh, seven for the legs, nine for the chest, and five for the helmet. And uh, enchantability, I'm just going to put it as. I don't know, 17 maybe? Uh, it's basically just how enchantable your thing is. Uh, sound on equip. So for this, we want sound events dot item armor and then equip uh, which 
whichever one you want. Um, so mine, I want mine to just be generic. Uh, no, diamond. Yeah, diamond. And for toughness, you probably want to put uh, 0.0F as uh, toughness is just for diamond. Uh, I don't think anyone really knows what it actually does. If you do, tell me in the comments. I can't figure it out. And now we just need to create armor base. So hover over it, create class, and put it in qwerty dot objects dot items. And I'm going to create a new package dot armor, as we're going to create 3D armor at some point. Extends item armor armor item armor and implements I have model so I'm going to copy over the register models function just because uh, yeah and we're going to add the constructor here so add constructor and we need to put a string name here we can get rid of the uh, in for material that's not important uh, we can get the uh, no we need that we can get rid of the entity equipment slot. we can just change it to entity no, we can just change it to equipment slot and we can just change this to render index it just looks a bit neater really so I actually need to change this to my own mod ID so tutorial mod import that and in our arm in our main constructor here we need to do set unlocalized name to name and set our registry name to name set registry name to name we need to set our oh that's not what I meant to do is it now we need to set our creative tab to tutorial mod dot tab and we need to do item init dot items dot add this that's it for our armor base I should fix any errors in here and that's all of that done actually so now let's go into our assets and create our item models and do the lang so I'm just going to create a new section call it armor and do item oh god I've got hiccups dot helmet underscore ruby dot name equal to ruby helm it item dot uh, chest plate underscore ruby dot name is equal to ruby chest plate item dot leggings underscore ruby dot name is equal to ruby leg leg ings item dot ruby dot uh, boots underscore ruby dot name is equal to a ruby boots that's all for the lang right now let's go into our item models and let's just copy dark apple and I'm gonna name it helm it underscore ruby 
that ruby and name it to helm it and ruby right now we just copy helmet ruby we can paste uh, instead of just getting rid of the whole thing we can just change it to chest plate paste it again change it to leggings paste it again change it to boots right now let's go chest plate leggings boots for boots you can just change it to boots for leggings we can just change it to leggings or chest plate we can just change it to chest plate and now we can close that that's all we need for that well actually no that's not correct so in uh, textures we need a new package and call it dot model models dot armor right now I need to real quick just search uh, my PC for the template um, that I use for okay, I, I've got them so here they are so template layer 1 template layer 2 what you want to do these will be in the description of the video by the way is you want to open with uh, paint.net and yeah just open them both with paint.net open the image all you want to do with these is you want to grab all the white spaces and do that on this one and just delete all the white spaces I'm not giving you a tutorial on how to do this but then you basically just want to uh, fix this armor up. Um, I already have some armor. Oh, and you want to name it uh, Ruby underscore Layer One and Ruby underscore Layer Two. Layer Two for this one, and Layer One for this one. And um, yep, that's all you need to do. Um, I actually should already have mine done so I'll let you guys pause the video to do to make that army yourself there's loads of tutorials on YouTube how to do that and I'm not going to give you a tutorial on how to do that so yeah uh, pause the video right so uh, now you've done that you should have some nice and cool armor I've made mine and I'm going to paste it into models.armor and you should see we have ruby layer 1 like that and ruby layer 2 like that and then we need to create our item textures so you can grab these little files from the minecraft assets uh, if you don't have the minecraft assets a link to those will be in the description um, but I already made mine, so if I can find them, uh, I've just got to find my helmet. Yep, there we go. And I'm going to paste mine in. And you got helmet ruby, there. You got leggings ruby, boots ruby, chest plate ruby. You get the point. So yeah that's those done and that's it let's go into the game uh, all links for like uh, assets and stuff that I used will be in the description Whoa! Right. so yeah I'll see you guys in the game alright so guys we just loaded into the game 
and let's see if we can get our armor yep yeah, here it is so I don't have the best of uh, item textures I don't think wait I mean it's okay uh, I must have just accidentally scaled it down at some point that's fine so, oh look, they changed the textures because it's Christmas. I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. Um, by the way, guys, it's like 8 o'clock on Christmas Eve in the evening. Uh, so, yeah, all the textures have changed. But, yeah, that's, that's it, guys. Uh, remember, if you have any problems with anything to do with these tutorials, um, tell me in my Discord server or leave a comment in the comments section. And I will definitely be able to help you. And uh, yeah. If you did enjoy this video. Please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoy the video. Please do be sure to share it. And uh, yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video. Oh.